nut hatches, those weird little birds that run up and down tree trunks are the subject of this video. Five facts about nut hatches I didn't know I wanted to know. Before we jump into the five facts, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and notifications below so you won't miss my next video. Number one, the Citidae family includes 24 species worldwide of which only four are found in North America. Two of these are the red-breasted and the white-breasted nuthatch. Both are year-round permanent residents. The family name Citidae is said to be used by Aristotle to describe birds that peck at the bark of trees. Number two, nuthatches are easily recognized by their behavior of running up and down trees. That is for sure. Unlike woodpeckers and creepers, nuthatches do not use their tails for support against tree trunks while foraging, so they are able to go both up and down trees head first. This might also give them an advantage in finding food hidden in tree crevices missed by the birds that only go in the up direction. Number three, the brown-headed nuthatch, found in the southeastern U.S., is one of the only birds known to use tools. This species has been observed using their bills to hold a piece of bark and then use it to flake off another piece of bark. Very ingenious. Number four, the red-breasted nuthatch was known by the common names Canada nuthatch and red-bellied nuthatch in the past. The reference to Canada is still reflected in its Latin name. Males and females are similar in appearance. However, the top of the head of the female red-breasted is a dark gray blue, not black. The eye stripe is less wide or black than the males. And the last fact about nuthatches you didn't know you wanted to know is number five. The male and female white-breasted nuthatch are also similar in appearance, but the female has a grayer crown than the male and is duller overall. Well, I'm more knowledgeable now about these nuthatches with these five facts that I didn't know I needed to know. I still think these little birds are just a little bit crazy running up and down trees the way they do, but I guess now I know why they do what they do. Birds, who would have thought?